Oh, no, nah, man, we shouldn't have moved. Oh, shit. <laughs> man, I don't do that, man. No, nah, I shouldn't have moved. But I drove past, I drove, I drove, I drove a truck. I just drove past, and I saw something just come out like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooting the movie, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's why I hate when you when you independent, man. Sometimes be a lot of crowds that pull up. That's why I don't like. Oh, okay. But it's a it's a it's a sci-fi movie. A scene where uh you was filmed, and I ain't trying to let the cat out the bag, you know. Hey, y'all. Uh, I want to bring this to y'all attention. Um, you know, uh. As you know, let me look y'all in the eye. Um, as you know, my name's Daryl. I'm one half of the Joneses. Memphis, keep it with the Joneses. Uh, there's a there's a lot going on in Memphis, Tennessee. A whole lot. Uh, so much so that the news is, or the world news is not going to tell you the things that uh, believers are seeing and what believers are going through on a daily basis. Um it's unreal and for those who've been called and chosen to do the works that the lord placed on them to do in their lives uh we're seeing things even more so that's going to be kind of hard and difficult to explain to the public because these attacks are done in a, such a hidden way and some of it can be done in a subliminal way but the threats are real and the persecutions are real not just towards us, but towards the innocent and others. Well, it's a lot going on right now, uh, but let me just say this right here. Uh, day before yesterday, day before yesterday, I posted a video of baby uh, doing wipe me down. And believe it or not, when I got off work, I began to work on that video. And for some reason, the clarity on this is is bad on YouTube. But uh, it's supposed to be looking like HD, but it's not looking HD, but still, it looked clear enough. All right, so after I start, uh, start working on the video, and then as I start to finish the video, it was around about 3-something, you know, 2.30, 3-something in the morning. And then uh, I had the book, I had uh, our book that we got coming out. We got a spiritual warfare book that's going to teach people about what's going on in the spiritual realm. And then uh, I was going to work on our movie. We're working on a movie. As you hear me in the in the background of Baby's video, say, hey, y'all, you know, you know, Baby finna flex on y'all and show her, show y'all how she, she stunt, you know. So I was going to work on the movie also. I know it's kind of weird. Y'all like, oh, you working on editing a movie at three something in the morning. and But some nights I have to do that. So as soon as I get off work, I, I just work on the book or work on our movie and I lay it down around about 3 34 in the morning get about four hours of sleep get up yeah but sometimes I have to do that you know once once or twice a week hold on I got some cooking let me let me uh cut this off right quick just one moment okay I'm back all right so now uh what we were talking about okay the movie so I'm working on uh, baby's video and after working on her video I was so worn out tired so I'm getting ready to focus on the book you know work about mm, about 30 minutes to maybe an hour on working on one page just one page of the book so at least that's showing them I'm, I'm, I'm just progressing you know just some kind of work because I haven't been working on the book for weeks uh, actually I think a couple of months I've been focusing on our movie. We working on this. We doing this sci-fi movie. So uh, I set aside the book and, and getting ready to focus on our movie. So I'm getting ready to look at scenes of uh, of this space effect that we did, and then this scene of uh, the Memphis Bridge. So going back to the movie, as I'm getting ready to muster strength to focus on these two scenes, the space scene, and then the scene about the Memphis Bridge. Uh, it's something that we didn't want to do, but we put in our movie because we shot this like months ago. Uh, the sp both special effects we shot months ago, like four months ago. So, uh, one of them is a space scene, and then the other scene is the Memphis Bridge. And uh, the Memphis Bridge, we got in there like you know, it's like a special effect thing where the b the bridge actually blew up. People on the bridge and cars on the bridge, you know. I we put this movie together because we want to make it as real as possible. You know, not not that we're looking for 
uh, fatalities or anything like that. We want to show sad or bad things like that. But I'm saying to myself, if this is going to be a realistic like, because I don't like, I really don't like putting together um, fiction stuff. I like putting together true stuff. I do believe that there are uh, things in space that we are not to know. We're not meant to know. But uh, I know the cause of a lot of things that's going on, whether it's dealing with Earth and, and space stuff, you know, according to the, the Holy Bible. But, you know, I said, I'm going to go ahead and put together, uh, me, you know, Baby and I, we're going to go ahead and put together a, a, a sci-fi movie. But I want to tell the truth. But I know if I tell the truth, people ain't going to want to really watch the movie unless unless those that really tune in to God and Jesus. But, um I said, I'm just going to make, you know, I want us to make a sci-fi film that's that's going to uh, cater to people who are into sci-fi and aliens. And so, as I'm looking at the, the, the Memphis Bridge and the special effects that we got where the bridge is blown up, <clears throat> where the bridge is blown up, it's a, it's a you know, it's not a, a easy uh, thing to, to do, but in reality, if something was to happen, like a, an invasion, you know, and uh, stuff like that can easily happen, you know, certain landmarks in our cities and across our country and around the world. So in this particular scene, we got a scene where the Memphis Bridge is blown up. I look at it, think nothing of it. No, no, I didn't look at the actual details of the bridge, but I looked at it like, okay, I'll work on this later. And then I went on to the space effect. And I didn't start editing it, but I tried. I was just too tired. I was getting ready, trying to you know work on the effects. It just needed a little touch up. That's all, a little tweak, a little touch up. And before you know it, I just logged off, logged off, logged off uh, on editing the movie. I logged off editing the movie. I was too tired. How about the next day? Uh, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday now, today Wednesday, yesterday. Yesterday, oh, 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 that later on that night, around three, four in the morning, but I was asleep. Now I went, I went to bed around three thirty or something like that. But the following morning of yesterday, when I got up, I watched the news. The news said uh, there was a a bridge that was uh, torn down, and I watched Fox thirteen and looked at it. I looked at it and it was real. I thought it was. I I, I thought it was a joke. No, I just thought it was a sick, uh, I said, no, this gotta be, this can't be real. This can't be real. And I told baby, I said, baby, you see this? I said, uh, you don't see the connection? She like, no. I said, look, the bridge, some bridge, and it was so horrible. I, I, it was so sad that I didn't get the detail of what city and state it was in. But I saw the news, there was a bridge that collapsed. I said, this can't be real. But it was real. And then I said, baby, you see the connection? She said, no. I said, now, baby, it's not a coincidence that we put the movie together where the Memphis Bridge is going to blow up and explode. And she said, whoa. And then she saw it, too, but she said it was a, a boat that hit the, the, the one of the pillars or something that hold the bridge up. So I basically said, well, I got to get ready to go to work. So I basically said, uh, that's the enemy that was working and whoever that, that was operating that boat. There was a possessed person. I don't care who he is or she is, whether they black or white, Hispanic, Asian, whoever did that, deep down in my heart, I believe they were possessed. When it comes to me knowing what's going on in our country and also around the world, uh, I've been having a uh, spiritual gift since I was a kid. There's a lot of things that goes on in our world, whether it's daily life or politics, the Holy Spirit showed me what's behind it. And uh, America, I want to say this right here. I say all this, y'all, because America, we got to start looking back to God, to the living God. So we all shocked why things be happening, like with the school shootings and stuff like that. When you start removing God out of the school, this is what we get. This is the results we get. So I want to get backtracked on saying that, but we got to get back to praying to God. And we got to get back to praying to Jesus Christ because uh, all these things are demonic influences that's, that's uh, geared towards trying to put fear in us and trying to draw us away from the Lord. 
So look, America, I mean this. Y'all seen this video? It may not be something funny that y'all would like to see or be entertained by. But please, y'all need to share this to the next believer and the next believer share it to the other believer. Or even if it's not a believer, if it's an atheist or agnostic person, send it to them. Thank you.